Hey friends, it's Friday and you know what that means. I get to give you a brand new poi combo that's going to apply so much of the stuff that we have been working on in the past few weeks. This time, because we're outdoors, I get the unenviable task of giving you a combo that is going to give you just a little bit more dance than we've been playing around with thus far. So let's dive in and check that out. Drex here from DrexFactor.com, bringing you poise spinning and flow arts to benefit your body and brain while we are all cooped up and navigating one of the craziest things to happen in my lifetime. Before we dive in, I just want to give a quick shout out to the friends of the channel. Big thanks to Dark Monk, Flow Toys, Pyroterra Light Toys, LMF Props, Spin Balls, and Ultra Poi for helping to make the videos on this channel possible. You can learn more about all these awesome companies and the work that they're doing to support flow artists like yourself by checking out the links that I've got down in the description of this video. So I'm shooting all these videos on a day when I have so much sunshine available and uh, I will fully admit that the last couple weeks the combos I've been giving you have deliberately been a little shaky on the dance side of things simply because when working inside my apartment I'm a pretty big guy so um, I didn't have that much room to work with but today I get all of this room to play with and so you're gonna have to learn how to dance with me ha <laughs> So we've just wrapped up a week where we've gotten into anti-spin flowers a little bit, and I'm going to start pushing you in directions of some of the weirder stuff that I really enjoy doing with Poi. And the good news is, is that the majority of that stuff uh, you already have underneath your belt. It's just a kind of creative way of approaching it that most people don't think about, you know? So for this week's combo, you're going to need the following tricks under your belt. You are going to need that anti-spin flower drill that we covered yesterday that goes back and forth between together same and together opposites. You are also going Going to need to know how to do your pendulums and your uh, shane steps in uh, together opposites. Uh, in addition, you will want to know how to do corkscrews and your pendulums in split time opposites. And finally, you're going to want to know your tuck turns. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and leave a link to a playlist that includes tutorials for all those different tricks down in the description so you can check them out and get caught up. Baller. So we start off with this little drill right here that we covered in yesterday's video about going back and forth between together same and together opposites with uh, your anti-spin flowers. So you're going to go up your right side, come back down in opposites. You're going to go up your left side, come back down. You're not actually going to complete it though. You're going to stop about midway down and we're going to switch into together opposites pendulums. Um, it might be a little bit of a jarring switch that happens right there. Think of it as being that as you come down, um, you're going to kind of like stall out to the sides, boom, and then just allow the momentum to take you down and around. So let's say for the sake of argument that it happened and it was lovely, we came down and you're going to do a quick little two-step here. So um, this is a shunne, but it's not the shunne that we're used to. I'm just stepping real quickly right and then left as a single pendulum is happening. So I'm kind of thinking of it as uh, the poi go past, I would think right, left, and then just open up. So um, it's, it's one of those things that I'm kind of winding up in a place where Done, done. Um, I have my right foot in front of me and my left hand, my left foot behind. It's kind of like a, a, a fourth in dance, I guess. And uh, I kind of open up back towards the camera and my feet are already in position for that. I, I really do want to wind up in a place where I'm kind of crossed up a little bit. So that way when the pendulums go across my legs, uh, I can just untwist and open up back towards my audience. Yeah. So all together that looks like this. We have the poi come down and I think right then left boom and I open up yeah all right so I'm gonna start walking back towards stage right here and I'm gonna do that first by stepping forward with my left foot as my left poise swings forward and my right poise swings back all of these pendulums here that I'm uh, stepping through are going to be uh, are, are, are going to be with the poi kind of going back and forth and together opposite past my hips and everything right uh, then I'm going to step forward with my right and it's gonna be like a little two-step here so as I swing the poi I step right then left and and my left foot winds up behind my right foot. My uh, legs are going to be crossed up, but my upper body is going to be open towards the camera. That is deliberate. Our next step here is that I'm going to unwrap. I'm going to open up towards the back and then I'm going to recross towards the camera. Why am I doing this? Because it creates some momentum that I'm going to need to initiate a corkscrew. I'm going to do a corkscrew around towards the back once 
and then twice, and it's going to resolve with the two poi landing over here to my left, and uh, I'm kind of twisted up here, right? The next move here is going to be to give myself pendulums in split time opposites. Uh, and it actually, when that initiates, that's my cue to have my right foot step out and go around in these pendulums here and everything. So it's almost like, uh, it, it, it's almost like when I switch into together opposites that is activating my rear foot here, yeah? You only need to do two of these, and when you get to the second one, you're going to go ahead and let them drop down underneath your armpits in a tuck turn, and uh, rather than doing the thing that I always do, which is to resolve to a stall and blue steel, instead we're going to resolve to blue steel with the poi kind of draping over my shoulders. And I want you to note the shape that I wind up here in. Um, I want you to have your right foot locked up against your left ankle, pointing to stage left. You're looking at the camera, again giving me blue steel because it is my choreography after all. Your left elbow should be up and your right elbow should be down. Both of the poise should be draped across your back. I'm looking for a specific shape here and you can go ahead and make it as sassy as you want to. It's totally up to you, right? So that last bit kind of, kind of looks like this, where we step left, double step, and then corkscrew once, corkscrew twice, come around before stepping out with that together opposite pendulum and resolving here. So let me show you everything from the top right quick. So go ahead and start with your feet together and step out on that first anti-spin flower going up to your right hand side. We go up to the right, separate out. We go off to the left, separate out, and pendulums around to land. We step, step twice, corkscrew once, corkscrew twice, coming around and together opposite once, twice. We drop around and stall behind our shoulders. Give me blue steel, yeah? Cool. Let's watch that again in slow-mo. Awesome. So I hope this one was fun for y'all. It was definitely fun for me to write. Having enough room to play around with where I can actually move around a bit is a lot more fun for me than not. Uh, so I hope that that comes across for y'all and everything. I really would love to see your version of this combo. Please post it to Facebook or Instagram and tag me. I am Drex Factor on Instagram and I am Drex Factor Poi on Facebook. Um, if you tag me in your Instagram stories too I, and I manage to see it before it expires, I will totally copy it into my own stories. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe, and comment too. All of these things help other people find my videos. Uh, the more likely it is that these videos run across somebody else's plate, the more likely it is that we add a new flow me to the world of flow arts. And that is gonna be good for all of us when this quarantine finally ends. Are you enjoy learning poi with me during the COVID-19 outbreak? I know that the world is a crazy place and there are so many things that are out of our control, but I appreciate that this is at least one thing that I can control. Um, if this is a project that you are enjoying, please consider supporting it over over on Patreon, like all these nice folks did. Um, in addition to being something that is wonderfully grounding for me, as well as so many other people, um, I think that teaching more people how to flow is just good for the world in general, and I wanna keep on doing it. Uh, if you'd like to support me in that endeavor, please head on over to patreon.com slash drexfactorpoi and sign up. You get early access to all of my content, as well as a say in what topics I pursue in the future. You get some cool behind the scenes stuff, Really, it's a pretty good deal, I think. So I'd invite you to go check that out. Please and thank you. Uh, I will be back next week to show you not just how to finish up all of our work on crossers, but also how to do anti-spin flowers in split timings, uh, including split time same direction and split time opposites. So I will see you then and have a great weekend. Take care of yourselves. Peace.